So that's it, that is a wrap on 2021 and I thought I would use the final video of this year to review all the things that have happened in 2021, some of the high points, some of the low points and some of the content that I've produced. Also stay tuned to the end of this video to hear some of my future plans for Design by Ruben. Let's go. So before we get started, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you click that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. 12 months, 52 weeks, 365 days and I posted some form of content for every single day of the year. Let's review it. It's always crazy watching those recaps back and seeing just how much content I actually made, but also just some of the good memories that I've had throughout this year. So as I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted to share some of my high points and low points. And so my favorite moment of this year, regardless of whether it was design or not, my favorite moment was when my wife picked up her visa for us to be able to move to the UK. And so that was a huge build up that took months and months and, and a lot of time and some considerable amount of money as well. Thank you, UK government. And so we were finally able to pick up her visa at the end of July and we moved officially to the UK together in August of 2021. And that was just a huge moment for us because we were finally able as a couple after five years to put roots down somewhere um, for the long term. So that's been my favorite moment has been getting here, getting settled in the community, putting our roots down and just finding a group of people in our local area that we can hang out with and uh, they can encourage us and challenge us. So that was my favorite moment across the whole year, but my favorite creative project that I've worked on was for Times Square Church and it was called Revival on Broadway. And this was their reopening um, of their church in Broadway after 18 months of being closed. So we created this kind of vintage look. I think I talked about this in, in an update video, but it was really fun because they gave me almost total creative freedom to create this. And so I just went onto Pinterest and found some really old cool movie posters and Broadway posters and put a whole look together. That was really fun for me to be a part of. And the guys, they did an amazing job just putting on this incredible reopening from, it, it wasn't just the uh, just a poster. It, there was so many different experiences and the whole venue, the whole building is a theater, they had uh, kind of interactive experiences and then the whole show they put on, uh, the whole church service was incredible. So the team did a great job there, but I was honored to play a small part in that too. And now for some of the low points of 2021 and the hardest moment for me this year was the visa process. Now I, I talked about that as being the highlight and quite often the things that take the most amount of effort have the highest reward. And that really was one of the hardest moments for us as a couple, especially. Uh, the first six months of this year was really just biting tooth and nail to get this visa. So we went to different countries, we had various interviews and papers and papers and papers like a whole ream of paper I'll put a picture up if I can find it of just all the documents we had to present so it, it was a it was a crazy challenge but God saw us through the whole thing and uh, yeah so we're just super grateful to be where we are now and now some of my biggest lessons and so as I was thinking about this I had some ideas but I ended up coming up with four main things that I think I've learned over the last year first one is posting content daily is a huge sacrifice there were times where I stayed up way later than I should have or um, I had to miss something or an event or um, maybe I missed a meeting or something because I was in the middle of creating and I completely forgot about it. There was a lot of things that I kind of uh, ended up being a sacrifice for me but nothing I've found has pushed me more creatively than trying to get some content out every day because you have to remove yourself from stuff that's happening around you, whether that's circumstantial or maybe that's even just work related, whatever that may be. And you have to pull yourself away from that to focus on daily content. So it was a really good challenge for me um, and I learned a lot, but it was definitely a sacrifice. Number two is I found that rest is non-negotiable. If you don't rest, you'll be forced to rest at some point. You'll have a burnout, you'll crash. Some people even end up in hospital from stress related stuff. So really not 
not worth it if you if you don't plan time to rest god will find a way to make you rest you may as well just get ahead be proactive and plan some time to rest in so for me that that looked like posting daily content but what i would do is every every week i would work for five days and i would get everything ready in those five days and then i would take two days off the weekend so saturday and sunday were my my rest days and i wouldn't do any work and then i'd be ready to go for the monday again it's really important make sure you rest otherwise you'll just end up burning out number three is video content compared to graphics is way more intense so when i got to like december last year i was like cool i'm gonna start making videos on top of my daily posting and as soon as i started like the first month in january i realized how hard it is to produce videos every week that's why a lot of youtubers do it as a full-time job because it does require that much time to come up with ideas to create edit and then upload and, and get that content out there i was producing a video every week for the last 52 weeks and that was really fun but it definitely takes a lot more time than I anticipated but knowing that there have been videos that have genuinely helped people on their creative journey um, has been huge so massively rewarding just a lot of time and effort and then number four probably the biggest lesson of this year is that being in community is a game changer so like i said earlier me and megan finally got rooted in a city called norwich in the uk and we we got connected to a church here and we've just met some really really cool people and it's been huge for just us as a couple but also me creatively as well finally got a chance to collaborate with people again in real time in a in a space together with people instead of just doing it online uh, which helped push me forward and then also just having people that are like-minded as well to challenge and inspire you it's been such a fun like last two months and i can't wait to go into the new year with new friends uh, and a new community to be part of let me encourage you if you haven't found a community yet you need to get plugged into one because it's going to unlock a lot of things in your own personal life some good some bad but you'll find out a lot about yourself when you surround yourself with others there's two ways for me that i connect with people it's through my local church uh, and the people that i've met there and it's also through the pro church media community we do a weekly discord hangout where we just hang out with people all over the world creative christians and we just talk about whatever whatever's on our mind so if you're interested in that there's a link in the description how to join that and come and hang out with us on a wednesday evening and so if you've lasted this long into the video i did tell you at the beginning that there were some plans that i had for 2022 so we're going to run you through those now. So my word for the year is diligence and it's all about becoming healthier spiritually and physically and also mastering some daily habits. And from that healthier place with healthier habits, I hope to be a healthier creative and to produce the best content I've ever produced. So what does that look like practically? Well, for the last two years, for over 700 days, I've been posting on Instagram every single day. And while I'll still be posting in 2022 on a regular basis, it won't be as often as that. The reason being is I want to spend more time conceptualizing and crafting new ideas is pushing myself with my skills and my creativity and then spending more time just being able to create and edit content as well. The new schedule looks something like around six days per week posting on Instagram and then two videos per month. Although that seems like I'm doing less content, I actually we're putting more effort and more creativity into each post. So hopefully you'll see me as a healthier creative, put better content out there. Let me know what's been your favorite part about Design by Ruben this year, whether it's a graphic, a video or a memory, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't set any goals for 2022, I highly encourage you to do so. Don't don't wait until 2022 to set them set them now so you can hit the ground running in the new year if you need any help building goals or you just want to chat you can message me on instagram at design by ruben my inbox is always open so i'm always up for having conversation if you've enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like it really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come as always thanks so much for watching have a great new year and i'll see you again soon